Morning, everyone. Well, we just got back from our three and a half mile walk like we do every day, and it's a Saturday at the Bernard's house. So we decided to make Bloody Marys. So we're going to start off today with uh, show you the ingredients, and then we're going to walk you how to make a great tasting Bloody Mary. I know a lot of people judge a Bloody Mary by what the garnish is, but I truly judge it by how it tastes. Uh, so we're going to start out with the ingredients today. You can take the vodka of your choice. We're going to hit it with some Worcestershire, some special uh, Bloody Mary seasoning here, some really great stuff. We're going to hit it with some horseradish, some lemon, some chili lime seasoning, some celery salt, and then we're going to mix it with a combination of both V8 and Clamato. And the only garnish we're going to use today is a pickled asparagus. You can use, obviously, lots of other things, but this is the way uh, Ron and Donna make their Bloody Marys. Okay, so the first thing we're going to start is with the vodka. Uh, in the recipe, I said one to two to three shots, whatever it is for you. I actually use one and a half per, uh, per Bloody Mary. So we're going to measure them out. I'm going to make two here, obviously, because I'm making one for my wife at the same time. Okay, now we're going to take the Worcestershire, and we like it dark, so we're going to do a count of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll do it the same for the other one. Okay, now we're going to do is we're going to take one squirt of Dimitri's seasoning. And this is really good stuff. And it's a pretty good healthy squirt. Then we're going to take a little bit of horseradish. And it's really to your liking. I put a little, uh, I don't know, maybe a couple peas worth. Then we're going to take the chili lime seasoning. I'm going to give it a couple good squeezes. This is good stuff too. Then we're going to take some celery salt, and we're getting close. You can use lemon juice, but really preferably if you're going to do it, you might as well cut up a nice lemon wedge. Take the pits out, give it a good squeeze. Then we're going to open both the Clamato and the V8. I like to put the Clamato in first. Take it up to, I don't know, maybe a half an inch from the top. Maybe I use a little bit more Clamato than I do V8. I'm going to top it off with V8. Then what we're going to do is, I like to go like this so it gets all the good stuff at the bottom mixed in real well. Sometimes you do it over the sink just because you know you're going to spill along the way. And there's one almost done. Okay, now what we're going to do is take our pickled asparagus, really tasty. Throw one in each or two. And enjoy Ron's delicious Bloody Marys. 